here I'm going to do a short video about a technique we call cutting. Uh, what this does is to apply the E or how rather how we use the E to enter into the other person's body to gain control of his fascia and his structure. You see? And I'll give a short demonstration on that. But what is even more interesting is that how this technique can be carried over for the process of healing. You see? Where the same uh, technique of getting into someone's fascia to gain control for martial arts purpose can also be used to soften and relax the fascia uh, to heal it and to also make a manual therapy, you know, manual massage easier because you don't have to use your elbows to get in. You see, you can, once you so soften the fascia, then you can reach in more easily with your fingers and your hands, you see. And the other point of that is, if you have the E at your fingers, that allows you to penetrate down to the deeper layers of tissue, you know, that includes the muscles and the fascia. So I'll give a short demonstration of both, uh, how you apply it in the martial arts and how you can in turn apply it in the healing. So now uh, I'll give a brief demonstration of how we apply E and cutting in the context of martial arts. Uh, I'd like to invite Juan here to help me. So this is done in an in-contact situation. That means that I have to be in contact with him, you see. Let's say he stands in a strong stance, right? Like this. Oh, just whatever, yeah, yeah. Right? And I push him, you see. He is perfectly strong, right? So when I use cutting, I can either apply it on my fingertips, my palm, or my forearm, or my wrist. But in this case, let's do it with the forearm. So <clears throat> I touch, I cut, I go in. You see, I've already gained control of the structure. And then I can just do that. So my E has gone into the structure. So once I touch, in this case, is through the contact of my forearms. It can be here, there, right? Then he moves, right? I can also do it through the wrist. So here, let's say, there, right? And now he goes. Or the palm, you see, right? So there, right? Or fingers. So once I touch, there, this goes in. Right, so this applying the E, right, in contact. So I feel for his fascia and through his fascia, you can control his structure. So let's say if you want to take his hip, there, the hip, right, if the shoulder, or we'll take the shoulder, right, if you want to take his feet, so it's there, see, his feet goes, right, so, so that is application of E in the martial arts. Uh. So this could be used in push hands, it could be used Let's say you take a strike, right? Say you take a strike. See, I've got there already. So on the point of contact, see, I've already controlled him. See? So it's not the force of my blow because if I do that, see, I go. I didn't take his structure, see? But once I touch, I've gained control of his structure and I have control and he can't use that arm much, you see? Right? Yeah. And this is in, right? Say you're uh, in a push hand sort of situation, let's say in Tai Chi, right? So we go this. So what I will do is, I already gain contact here, there, see, and then I'm in, right? Or it could be through this hand, you see, let's say do it with this hand, it's easier, right? So in Tai Chi push hands, we do it this way. So this could be a cut here, see? right? So I'm using this in this case, see? right? And in a Wing Chun roll hand situation, yeah, where you do that, right? Yeah. So I would, this is a cut. Right, so it's through here, right? Or it could be on as on the upstroke, see? So as you go up, see, this is the cut here. Then I can take. Right, so that's how you apply. So it's all done through the E, okay? And once the E has entered, then the Jing will follow, see? And that's why you Ba Jing, see? Now let's talk in context of cutting. I'll use two examples. I'll use one on the forearm and one on the top of the shoulders here. Normally, this there's a lot of muscles here in the upper forearm, right? And if I want to reach down, let's say for a massage, it's quite difficult, right? I have to have to really dig in and it will hurt him, right? So what I'll do is to use cutting to soften the tissue and the fascia here so that I can reach in. And later on, I will also use the cutting to facilitate the flow of his energy 
such that they clear the blockages here. You see. So let's say I want to reach down underneath, uh, I don't know what you call that muscle, that's the one that controls your fingers. Uh, yeah, that one, right? So in order to do that, I really have to dig in because it's hidden under the top few muscles. You see. So what I'll do is, I'll put E into my fingers, fingertips, and I cut. So in this case, I'm cutting across the grain to soften it. So it serves to untangle the fascia. See, the fascia is in layers and they are like Velcro. See? Sometimes they get stuck together. So what you're doing here is to try and unstick the Velcro, you know, so that the fascia can start flowing across each other, you see. And then this side as well, see. So I cut along the area I want to work in, right. And now, you see, if I go in there, right, I can now go in and access that much more easily, right, without a lot of pain on the side, right, yeah. Now, once I've, say, softened that, I want to unblock it and facilitate the flow of Qing or Qi, then I will draw the energy from here, there, right. Right, yeah. Right, so now ah, you feel right, this thing now can flow out, see. So now if I put it here and you just extend your finger, see, yeah, see, ah, right, the energy is coming out here, okay. So that's how we handle it. So for here, it's the same thing, right. Most of the muscle and fascia will run in that direction. So what I want to do is cut across the grain. Right, to soften the tissue, yeah. And then, as, since there's this part here where the knot is, I'm going to cut this way. Like a bit more. Yeah, so now you see. I can then reach in, yeah, there, right? So there's a knot, so you can feel the knot, so I just work on it. Again, I'm injecting E in there. Yep. Yeah. Is it relief? Mm, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. So going down, right, yeah. And then I can also then push it down that way, right? Yeah. And then down where I cut, you see, so I bring it down from here. Yeah. Do block it, let the energy flow, <coughs> right, yeah, and also this way, yeah, and then from here, cut it down, yeah, yeah. Let it go down. Yeah. yeah. So just to elaborate more about the energies and what I'm doing. La. This is, okay, going back to the Shaolin, what we call six levels of energy. La. And the, how it's arranged is, number one is Li, which means strength, physical strength. Two is Jin, right, which is elastic energy from the fascia and the tendons. Third is E, which is your mind and intention. The fourth is Qi, uh, life energy. Fifth is Sun. And sixth is Qi, uh, emptiness, you see. So here we are working with E, Jing, and Qi, uh, okay? So in order to develop these internal energies, then any 
authentic la, practice or qi gong or nei gong will allow you to do this la. but you have to move in those stages you see for example you have to move from well of course li is taken uh, assumed to be there so you've got to work on your jing and your yi you see right so any practice uh, that develops your internal energies be it tai chi like in my case will be yan shao gong will help you to de- develop these skills so and one more point i like to add la, you know being able to develop these energies within your body the other very important part is how do you get this right to your hands and in this case to your fingertips you see right so that is also an important factor because in a lot of cases people talk of developing your tan tian chi that's all and well you know and good for your health and so on but to do healing or even martial arts you need to get that energy be it chi or ching right to your fingertips you see so and that also well depending on the art that you practice there will be pra- practices uh, and drills for you to do that you see so you need to get your ching chi or e to your fingertips then you can do this sort of healing see? right thank you themarshallman.com